Hi guys, we are here with our uh, message lesson this weekend. Again, we are in the book of James. I pray you've had a great week um, and that uh, you've been able to feel the presence of God through your week. And we are continuing with James. <clears throat> I'm sorry, James 9 through 12. I'm a little bit tired. It's a little late on Saturday night, um, but I'm getting you your message um, because I believe that's what God wants me to do. And our message is in James comparing our tongues to a fountain. We have a fun game called Fountain Freeze. Make sure you play. Get as many friends and family members as you can. Play some music, some of your favorite Christian fast, upbeat music, or even slow. And they get to dance to it. You get to dance to it until someone stops the music. And then it is time to freeze in the shape of a fountain. You're going to stand on one foot, hands extended out. So balance as long as you can until the music starts. If you fall, you're out. So hope you enjoy that game. But... Uh, James does compare our tongues to a fountain. Just like a fountain can't bring out both fresh water and bad salty water, so our tongues can't bring out both good words and bad. We need to make sure that the words that flow from our mouths are good, just like the water flowing from a fountain we want to drink from that is clean and pure. So, <clears throat> the words that we let come out of our mouths should be it should be impressive to people and to God so we should be saying things that are going to be helpful and kind and um good spirit um God also says in Ephesians 4 29 let nothing unwholesome come out of your mouth so it's really important our tongue is such a small muscle that um can do so much damage or can do so much good so if you have a conflict with a friend you should talk it out so that you use kind words and helpful words so that you can resolve your situations um <clears throat> if you aren't happy about something you can express that but you want to do it in the right way um and using our tongue to help us solve problems and not create problems because as little as it is, it can make so many problems. It can make, destroy friendships. It can destroy relationships. And that's never what God intended for us to use our tongue for. He intended us to continue to share the good news of the gospel and the truth of what Jesus Christ did for us and about how um, he has worked in our lives and how he's worked in the lives of others that we love and know so that it'll make people who have never heard of Jesus come to know him or, or want a relationship with him. And we all have that power. It doesn't matter how young or how old we are. Um, Jesus wants to use us all. God intended for us to um, be loving and kind to one another and to show his love to everyone. So be sure that if you um, don't know someone if they look a little different, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you are kind to them. Make sure you build them up. Tell them what how great their hair looks, their cool shoes, whatever it is. You can make the difference in someone's life and make them want to follow Jesus just by what you say and how you treat them. So be sure to do the right thing with that powerful little tongue and the words that come out of your mouth. Let them be truly words of love from your heart. Even when your heart is hurting, be sure to use good words. Because if you don't, you may have a hard time with your relationships. So, pray you have a great week with your relationships and helping build one another up, encouraging one another. So, we'll see you soon. Have a blessed week. Bye, guys.